Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay with us, we'll have all the action for you live right here on EA TV. Hello, good evening to you. And part of the story here is the Albite Stadium by night. 60,000 capacity here. I'm Derek Ray, getting ready to bring you all the action, accompanied by my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Spain versus Germany. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. And now they get the ball rolling. Here's the lineup for Spain. Jordi Alba plays with Carvajal in the fullback positions. Ferran Torres plays with Pablo Sarabia on the flanks. And the main striker today is Morata. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Manuel Neuer gets the nod in goal. Niklas Zule starts with Antonio Rudiger in central defence. Serge Gnabry starts with Leroy Zane in the wide areas. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. Oh, in with a chance! Well, the keeper was called upon and delivered. Well, he's so good in those 1v1 moments, and he's proved it yet again. to take it short here. Rudiger. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. And between 2008 and 2012, Spain were right up there with the very best of international teams. They had their barren spell after that, but you know, Stuart, green shoots of recovery were visible at the last European Championship when they were perhaps unlucky not to make it to the final. You're absolutely right. They've got a manager that likes to bring in the young players. They play a style of football that only Spain can play. They've got some excellent technical players in midfield. They are a team that I think can go all the way. You have to remember they're in a tough group. Germany and Japan are both very good teams. They're going to have to start this tournament well. Not a classic example of how to intercept. Kimmich. Zane has it. Good move in the making from Germany. And he's in. Majestic piece of goalkeeping. Well, he loves the big moments, doesn't he? And he's proved it again there. Great goalkeeping. technique in the end. Well, they need to be more positive with their passing. Make more runs in behind the defence, create overloads in the wide areas, and then we may see an improvement in those stats. And they're in possession now. Let's find out what they can do with the ball. A routine save. Pablo Sarabia and that pass could be troublesome oh a smart stop Kimmich Gnabry with it 
And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. But their <laughs> chance here. And a goal! That will do it. They've been pushing for it. And now they've been rewarded. Well, let's have another look. It's a wonderful bit of interplay to start the move off. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. And so it is, the first half story has been written. So back in business here, the ball is moving again and it's advantage Germany after the first half. Let's see what the second 45 has in store for us. He'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge. Is it going to be? Sold for now. Got a lot to like about Kai Havertz and what he put into the first half. What have you made of his performance so far? Well, he certainly had an impact on that first half. Scott. Oh, look at this, Stuart, an opportunity. Just cleared away in the nick of time. Well, that'll be a free kick. Time for a change then. Interception to snuff out the danger. Barata. Torres on the ball. Can he finish? The save was a good one. And time for the change now. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And dealt with that ball comfortably. Racing forward, trying to catch the match. They need to get bodies back. Gundogan. And Kai Havertz. It's got to be. They've gone and scored again. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. So, back underway, with the scoreline standing at 2-0. Quarter of an hour remaining here. Gundogan. And they want the ball back, they might be able to profit. Well, that's called us a meaty effort, but certainly not accurate enough. Koke with it. 
Danny Olmo with it. Oh, it's really up on the mark here. And the full marks for trying, but very deftly cut out. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Can they keep it going? Struggle to get it away properly. Did well to win the ball back. <laughs> so two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. He has teammates around him. A quarter there following the cross. So making the substitution now. now. That's the good news. Oh, no, it's a corner. And Koke with the delivery. And a goal! They cut into the lead! It's not settled yet! Well, here it is again. It's a good delivery from the corner, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. from Kai Havertz. Stuart, sum up for us what most impressed you about this performance. Well, I'm not concerned about him missing a few chances. The main thing is he kept on getting into the right.